So I just want to quickly show a couple of useful add-ons in Blender to quickly add lighting and materials to your scene. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is come up here to File, User Preferences, and in the Add-ons tab, I'm going to enable this Easy HDRI, and I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit. And make sure you have a check mark in the Node Wrangler. And finally, down the bottom here, make sure you have a check mark in PyMenu Official. Okay, and therefore the shortcut keys. So I'm going to come back up the top here, and just one or two things I change. The first one is I use left select with the mouse button and also emulate numpad just so you can switch between the different views if you have a laptop using the numbers across the top of your keyboard. Okay, and once that's done, I'm just going to click save user settings and X this. So the first thing I want to do is just select this cube and press delete and just delete that. I'm going to press shift A. I want to add a UV sphere. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to check the generate UVs over here. And on the tool shelf, I'm going to hit smooth shading. I'm also going to come up here to the render engine and switch it to cycles. And over here on the scene tab, I'm going to switch this to metric. I'm just going to press N. I'm just going to switch on my display. So the first thing I'd like to do is get a material for this. And for that, I'm going to go to texturehaven.com and just come up here to textures. Now, this is a great resource where you can get free high quality texture images for your project. So I'm just going to click the planks, click all maps, and I'm just going to choose the PNG 2K. And I'm just going to choose the desktop and click save. And also on this site, you can get HDRI images. Okay, so in here, select your image and you can download it. So I'm just going to drag this out of the way. And the next step then is to unwrap these planks. So I'm just going to right click zip seven and extract those files. And I can drag this out of the way. So I'm just going to press N just to get rid of the property shelf and just drag out a second window here. I'm going to switch this to a node editor and I can press N just to give myself a bit more space and maybe drag out this a little bit. I'm going to come over to the material and just click new and I can just rename this to planks. Okay, and press enter. I can zoom in over here. So I'm going to select this diffuse, press delete, shift A under a shader. I'm going to choose the principled. And just plug this in here. Now I'm going to use the Node Wrangler to automatically add in all those image textures we got from HDRI Haven. So with this selected, I'm going to press Control Shift T. And on my desktop, I'm just going to click into this folder. You can switch the viewing options here. I'm just going to press A, select them all, and click Principled Texture Setup. And that will automatically set up all of these with their correct nodes. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And if I press zero over here, I can snap into camera view. I'm going to select the camera, press N, and just put a check mark in lock camera to view. So I can just zoom in here and just frame this up a little bit better. Okay, I'm just going to uncheck this lock camera to view. And if I come over to the tool shelf and come down to easy HDRI, I've already downloaded some HDRI images. So I'm just going to click the folder option here and choose that folder. So again, on my desktop, I have a HDRI folder. I'm going to select it and click accept, and that loads in those images. Next, I'm just going to click create world nodes. I can drag this out a little bit and maybe actually drag this over. And I'm going to press Z and choose rendered. Okay, and I can zoom in here to take a look at this. If I click this, bring back up the material, zoom in over here and just adjust my scale maybe to five in the X, Y and Z. So a very fast way of adding materials and lighting in Blender. I'm just going to press Z and come back to solid. So another program I just want to quickly look at is Bitmap to Material. It ships with Substance Painter. So if you have a diffuse image texture, you can create your maps based on that. So for example, I have a timber texture here. I'm just going to drag it in here and let's choose main. I'm just going to drag this back out of the way. Now I'm just going to quickly go over the basics. I'm going to set this to 1000. 24 for the output size and just come to export and export as bitmap now this is going to create a roughness metallic diffuse specular okay a whole series of maps here based on that one image so for the folder i'm just going to just copy this location and paste it in here so for the format it's going to be tga and that's fine i'm going to leave everything else as is and just export okay and i can close this down and i'm just going to minimize this so if I take a look in the folder, it's created all these maps for me. 
okay and back in blender i'm just going to right click to place the cursor shift a i'm going to add another uv sphere and generate uvs is already on so that's going to be fine just back up on tools i'm just going to click smooth maybe just move this one over slightly and for the material i'm just going to click new find my nodes i'm just going to delete that shift a i'm going to add in a principal bsdf plug that in and again with this selected control shift t back on my desktop i'm going to click in the folder just press a to select them all to select that original okay and with them all selected i'm just going to add those automatically it's added all of these with their nodes and over here if i press z i can bring up rendered okay and again you can see that we get a nice result on our sphere okay so that's just a quick easy way of adding materials and lighting in blender and just some good resources that you can use okay but that's going to do it for this one